To the second city of June, foreigners, the press, and photographers were not invited. Films were made available only through government sources. The city's name is unknown, but it is near Bakinaur in the Soviet Union. Here, in the continuing race for the moon with the United States of America, the Soviet Union launched Valery Baikovsky and Valentina Tereshkova. In utmost secrecy, only the military and technicians observed the launchings of the two new cosmonauts. The launchings of June put the Soviet Union ahead in a race that was not forecast to be over until the end of the decade. The history of man in space is short, but the conquests are many. Now films of every launch have been released both by the government of the Soviet Union and the free press of the world that was invited to photograph the launches of the United States. In 1961, the Soviet Union launched Yuri Gagarin and provided this motion picture of the liftoff. The United States launched Alan Shepard from Cape Canaveral on top of a redstone booster. Next in space was Gus Grissom of the United States, again photographed by hundreds of international photographers at the Cape. Then the Soviet Union announced the launch of German Titov and released this film. In 1962, John Glenn went into orbit, launched from an Atlas booster at Cape Canaveral. This was followed by United States astronaut Scott Carpenter three months later in a Mercury capsule. In August of 1962, Andrian Nikolaev and Pavel Pavovich orbited simultaneously, launched by two separate boosters from the Soviet Union. One launched within 24 hours after the other. These are the films provided of the launches. Wally Shira of the United States went next from Cape Canaveral, perched on top of a one and a half stage atlas. 1963 ushered Gordon Cooper of the United States into orbit in his Faith 7 capsule. And June in space belonged to the Soviet Union with Valery Baikovsky and Valentina Tereshkova. The Soviet Union furnished this film of the launches. The second city of June, location unknown, wrote history with two proud names.